We're asked to add these two fractions, however, they do not have a common denominator. One of the denominators is 10 and the other denominator is 4. So first things first, we're going to have to fix that. And to do that, we'll need the lowest common multiple of the numbers 10 and 4. So if we were to think of all the multiples of 10, all the multiples of 4, the smallest one that they have in common is 20. So our LCD, our lowest common denominator, is 20. So we're going to need to rewrite each one of these fractions as something over 20. So we're going to rewrite the one on the left over 20. We're going to rewrite the one on the right over 20. It's still going to be addition, but we need to get that common denominator of 20. All right, starting with the fraction on the left, the denominator was 10. I would need to multiply by 2 to get it to become 20. So I also multiply the top by 2. In the bottom, 10 times 2 is 20. And on the top, 3 times 2 would give us 6. For the one on the right, we need to turn that into something over 20. So the 4 would need to be multiplied by 5 to give me 20. Multiplying the top by 5 as well gives me 3 times 5, or 15. Now that we have a common denominator, we can add, and we're going to keep that denominator. In the top, though, we have 6 plus 15, which would give us 21. The 21 over 20 is an improper fraction, but we don't need to worry about that at this point. The only question is, can we simplify it? And since there's no number other than 1 that will divide evenly into both 21 and 20, it is in its simplest form. 